Factsverse presents 35 Reality Shows That Are Totally Fake Number 3 is indisputable. Ever since the real world, reality TV has become incredibly popular. While many reality shows are edited to take the plot in the direction the producers want, most of what happens is real and unscripted. Unfortunately, there are some reality shows that aren't real at all. We have 35 to share with you that are totally fake. Before we get into our list, jump down to the comments and let us know what your favorite reality show is. And also, which shows do you think are fake even before you watch the video? Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. South Beach Toe was a great show. Yeah, the things that happened were unbelievable and would never happen in real life, but it was entertaining to watch. Take Bernice, for example. She could rip car doors off with her bare hands and even fell from a parking structure and survived. Even though the show was fake, it was fun to watch. Duck Dynasty follows the Robertson family from Louisiana. They're known for creating their duck call tools. The characters are great, the only problem is most of the storylines are scripted to make the show more exciting. Also, it's been reported that the production team will add censor bleeps, even if the cast isn't actually swearing. They do this hoping they can make it look like the characters are angrier than they actually are, to add more drama. Millions of people in the U.S. loved Undercover Boss. They liked the basic premise of the show where bosses go undercover to see how well their employees are really doing. It's great when employees who are never recognized finally get appreciated for their work. The only problem is that there are reports that most of this show is actually scripted. Also, the promises that the bosses make to their employees aren't always kept. Hardcore Pawn follows Father Les and his two children, Seth and Ashley, while working at the family-owned pawn shop. The show was entertaining with all of the fights on the show, but there were so many that it was obviously scripted. What are the odds of a significant fight breaking out every day where the perpetrator needs to be dragged out by a huge security guard? Project Runway is a top-rated show, but it's been accused of being fake. Contestants on the show, including Jack McEnroth and Daniel Esquivel, have spoken publicly about the inauthentic nature of the judging. Daniel says the producers tailor the show to sensationalize all the contestants to the extreme. Cake Boss is led by the owner Buddy Velastro. The show quickly gained popularity thanks to the incredible cake designs created by Buddy's team. It's reported that things are not as dramatic as the show tries to make them out to be, though. Buddy is not at the shop unless they're filming, and many of the weddings and events on the show are reportedly fake, too. Over the last few years, Ghost Hunters has become very popular. Many people have accused the show of being scripted, though. One of those people is a former case manager, Donna LaCroix. She did an interview where she said that the show was not authentic. Now, if you didn't know the Jerry Springer show was fake, you've probably never seen the show. From the outrageous guests and storylines to the production egging on the audience, nothing about that show is real. When Dave Hester was fired from Storage Wars, he told the world that the show was scripted. He admitted that some of the items found in lockers are put there by producers. He also claims that the interviews with the cast members are also scripted. After he was hired back, he must have regretted opening his big mouth. Jersey Shore started in 2009 and made celebrities out of all the cast members. Unfortunately, most of what you see on that show is scripted. A lawyer who had an office across the street from the Jersey Shore house says he saw the cast rehearsing their walks around Seaside. He also says that he saw them do reshoot scenes from different angles and repeating dialogue and rehearsing facial expressions. Say Yes to the Dress follows brides-to-be while they try to find the dream wedding dress. They shop at Kleinfeld Boutique in New York. The producers vet everyone who attends the appointment with the bride, and they ask the more outspoken ones to repeat or stress a comment that'll add to the drama. Also, the boutique is much smaller and more crowded than it looks on TV. It gives people who shop there because of the show the wrong idea. Fixer Upper is pretty disappointing. 
When the homeowner comes onto the show, they've already purchased a house. They never really pick one of the three houses on the show. Also, the furniture that Joanna puts into the homes is not included in the budget. The only way they get to keep that is if they want to pay extra for it. And finally, the only time Chip actually works in the houses is when the cameras are rolling. Long Island Medium follows Teresa Caputo, a medium who claims to be able to connect with people who have passed on. Unfortunately, Teresa is not as gifted as you might think. Before the show, the producers find out everything they can about the people who are going to be on the show with Teresa. They use social media, questionnaires, and background checks. When Teresa's on the stage, they feed her the necessary information through an earpiece. Cupcake Wars features four bakers from all over the United States. They go through three rounds during the competition. They bake cupcakes to be featured in an event with a display of 1,000 cupcakes. During the first round, they have to bake cupcakes with ingredients that you wouldn't generally put into a cupcake, like hamburgers. There are reports that the contestants know the ingredients they'll be asked to use, though, before the competition. Naked and Afraid sends two contestants to an exotic location with no clothes. They have to try and live off the land. Many former contestants say that it's highly overproduced to add some drama. Also, the production team often supplies them with amenities, including medication, tampons, and vitamin B supplements. Basketball Wives follow the girlfriends and wives of well-known basketball players. Former cast member Matt Barnes says that the entire show is staged and scripted. Another cast member, Tanya Young, backs up those claims, saying the producers worked to pit the women against each other. The Hills had everything you want in a reality show. Backstabbing, relationship drama, and work problems – they were all part of the show. The show was actually scripted. Spencer Pratt revealed that he and Heidi Montag had to shoot the scene where she thought she was pregnant 15 times. Each time, he had to pretend to be outraged. The producers admitted to casting certain parts like Lawrence co-workers to give her time to talk about her friends to somebody else. The show Last Comic Standing claimed to find untapped talent, giving them exposure and a cash prize. According to reports, without the knowledge of the contestants or the judges, the producers chose the winner. That would often infuriate the judges. Also, many people claim that excellent performances are edited to make them look bad. Since Donald Trump was involved with The Apprentice, you have to know that it was fake. The show had contestants interviewing for a job at Trump's company. When somebody was fired, it was actually scripted to happen, and the contestant already knew ahead of time that they'd be leaving. Worst of all is that there was no actual prize. Love Island was a combination of The Bachelor and Survivor. The show put a group of singles on a tropical planet. They're encouraged to pair up for money and a chance to win the competition. According to former cast members, everything on the show, from the fights to the dialogue, is all scripted. They'd do numerous takes of each scene and would choose the most realistic one in the end. The show Breaking Amish was far from reality. There are official documents that prove the Amish people who claim to be leaving the community for the first time actually defected many, many years earlier. Britain's Got Talent showcases everything from children to dancers to magicians to dancing dogs. In 2015, a dog act named Jules and Matisse won the competition. It was later discovered, though, the whole thing was rigged. The cute little dog was swapped out for a similar-looking one because the real dog was too scared to do the high-wire stunt. Willie Deggle installs cameras in a failing restaurant to find out what's going on. That's the premise of Restaurant Stakeout. The setup relies on Willie catching an employee slacking off or being rude to a customer so he can fire them right there on the spot. The owner of the restaurant featured in the first season admitted that he and his employees had to be screen-tested before filming the episodes. Also, most of the people in the restaurant were extras, and they were told to be as annoying as possible. Dance Moms was a show loaded with drama. According to one young cast member, Maddie Ziegler, the show was really dramatic. The producers made them yell at each other and start fights for no reason at all. 
She also says the moms would have dramatic fights for the camera, and afterward they'd just laugh and talk about it. The show Hell's Kitchen is hosted by Gordon Ramsay, a hot-headed celebrity chef. The show is entertaining, but it's also scripted. Even the customers who eat the meals are paid actors. The one thing that's reported to be real, though, is Gordon's temper. Keeping Up with the Kardashians has been on the air since 2007. It follows the lives of the Kardashian slash Jenner family, and many people have thought for years that the show just has to be scripted. If you binge watch the show, you'll see that they have recycled storylines more than once. When Kim was divorcing Chris Humphreys, the show producer, Russell J., admitted during a deposition that at least two scenes involving Chris were scripted and reshot. For some reason, people just loved the show Toddlers and Tiaras. Like many reality TV shows, this one was often scripted and staged. Cast members were frequently asked to reword what they said and also to stir up the drama. Survivor has contestants split into teams, and they're led into the wilderness, forced to live off the land, and then go against one another in challenges. While it might look real, most of the competitions and challenges are completely fake. Producers have been admitted to adding a body double for some of the challenges and using reenactments for some of the footage. Former contestant Stacey Stillman has said over and over that her removal from the island was rigged. American Idol first aired in 2001. The show holds a bunch of singing auditions and a singing winner is chosen in the end. According to reports, not everybody will get a chance to be on the show. The producers send scouts to find the best singers before they hold auditions. Getting through to Hollywood isn't all chance. Catfish has hosts Nev and Max, helping solve the mystery of who a person is really communicating with. While the people on the show are actually being catfished, the producers run the application process in reverse. The people who are doing the catfishing are the ones who apply to be on the show. The voice isn't as real as you think. Rock star Adam Weiner admitted on Facebook that the show contacted him, but he declined the offer. He says the competition is pre-cast, and the producers decide the style of music the contestants will perform. The show is not as upfront as they make it out to be. Canadian brothers Jonathan and Scott Drew work together on the show Property Brothers. Unfortunately, there are many aspects of this show that are said to be fake. First, the brothers don't renovate the whole house. It's only a select few. Second, there are often reshoots to create more drama. And finally, most couples choose the home renovation because the brothers show them houses well out of their price range. Most things about the show Pawn Stars are fake, beginning with the fact that the show is scripted. The Harrisons do own the store, but it's more of a tourist attraction than an actual store. Also, the show's stars aren't allowed to work on the counter due to the Nevada privacy laws. And finally, everything that is brought into the store has already been researched and priced before the scene is ever shot. Therese Guidas admitted under oath in court that the whole show, The Real Housewives, is scripted. Also, the women plan their arguments with the producers, so they know when the women are going to go after each other. Finally, there's The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. They're fun shows, but they are staged and scripted. Probably not a surprise to anyone. The cast is fed their lines, the producers weed out the dramatic girls and try to get them to bring on the drama. The producers plan the rose ceremony, and the casting is so well-planned that everybody knows who's going to end up in the final three. What other reality shows should we add to our fake list? Tell us in the comments, and subscribe for more!